very quietly dreaming of a three pound Irish perch. It would be a holy grail for me. I had them to a, a pretty much five pound in Spain, but a three pound perch in Ireland would be worth way more than a five pound perch in Spain. <laughs> so uh, give it a like and tune in while I'll tell you about the best time to be fishing for perch, the growth rate and how all the 40 centimeter perch really is. And I will also show you my very best lures and the way I present those lures to a perch while I try to get a half decent perch if I'm lucky enough or maybe even a couple of them. Little guy never fails. It really is an awesome, awesome lure. On an offset hook, size eight offset hook, five gram tungsten chebu head, little clip, six pound fluorocarbon into a seven pound braid. Conditions are absolutely shocking. I have a rain and a wind straight in my face. It's not easy to cast not to mention controlling the line, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, that was a, oh, that was a nice hit. I always keep a couple of pretty good lures. The best ones sit in this ready to roll box. Very handy and very quick to change lures. No excuses there. We'll try to put a lighter head on even though with the conditions I probably should be putting a heavier one but I'll try it anyway the weight of the uh, head or chebu head or a jig head is what I find can have a biggest biggest difference whether you're catching or not not the lure size not the hook size not the line size just the weight if it's too heavy it looks unnatural and that's it when it comes to working your lures this time of the year it's definitely slow and my two best approaches are a turn and a pause a turn and a pause on the pause you wait for the lure to hit the bottom and as soon as it hits the bottom you lift it again and give a one turn of a reel handle you also can do a pull with a rod tip or two quick pulls with the rod tip and then let it drop so there are two variations of the same thing and the other one is letting the lure jump along the bottom if you like and I use this uh, method always when I fish with a crayfish or creatures so for a swim baits, paddle tails, curly tails it's usually the turn or a pull and a pause whereas for a creatures it's uh, working it jumping it along the bottom and when it comes to drop shotting the trick is to try to give the lure a few jigs without moving the weight so a few jigs, a short pause and then we move the weight and again repeat the process a few jigs without moving the weight just so the uh, lure is dancing and again and again repeat the process until something hits it feels heavy i i dare to say if it was a perch it would be a very nice fish but we might not be that lucky Oh, it's probably a pike. Yeah, definitely a pike. On the perch, Professor Paddle Tail again. Yeah, and here it is. That's a fish. I don't think it's a jack pike. Hopefully it's not. Oh, what is it? Finally. What is it? Come on, show yourself. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, 
That's a nice perch. That's a nice perch. Beautiful. I apologize for the wind noise. My GoPro has failed me again and I've ordered an, a new equipment, but uh, until I can get it sorted, you need to wear with me. So to talk over that wind, <laughs> let me tell you that um, I'm fishing for perch now because it's the very best time to be fishing for them. The good time to be fishing for perch here in Ireland is anywhere from uh, September to the uh, beginning of uh, December where I find the numbers of fish can be had with uh, sessions of um, well over 100 perch not being uncommon. However, the time when you can get, get the very best and biggest perch at their heaviest is when they come to a spawning. They spawn a couple of weeks after a pike, which is um, mid to late March to throughout the April. That's when perch spawn. They need a te water temperature of uh, 10 degrees to, to, to get spawning. So a little bit higher than a pike. So right now with the water temperatures of eight to nine degrees, they're a couple of weeks away from spawning and at their very heaviest and very best conditions. That's when we want to catch them. And uh, getting a big fish in Ireland is not easy. It's not Spain over here. They don't have the optimal environment. Uh, the food competition is high as well and the food quality isn't that good as in other waters throughout the continent. Perch are slow growers from the uh, research I've seen. It takes them about eight to 10 years to reach 28 to 34 centimeters. And remembering that perch live only 10 to 12 years on average again, up to 15 years, we are really looking for those elusive older fish that were lucky enough to live in a good environment with plenty of food and not too much of a food competition. So anytime you're lucky enough to catch a 40 centimeters plus fish, it has taken that fish probably over 10 years to reach that growth and she is a fairly old fish so enjoy and appreciate the moment of getting her <clears throat> no it's not a jack i'm getting everything wrong today that's another fine perch oh what a beauty what a beauty <laughs> Ah, that's beautiful. That will be a good pound and a bit. That's a good pound and a half fish. Beautiful. And that paddle tail from a perch professor again. Whoa. That's absolutely super. day <laughs> but let me take a quick break to grab some food and in the meantime I'll show you my gear as you figure out I'm fishing for perch the pike are spawning already and the perch won't go for a couple of weeks it's usually three four five weeks after pike go so that's the best time now to catch them in the in the best best condition of the year I'm uh, fishing a water which is a low stock water but with a potential. I had a few nice fish from here, not the huge ones, but a few nice ones and my gut tells me there might be a really good one here. So uh, <laughs> you could see the fish I got, they were quite a nice perch. So I'll have a quick bite, I'll show you what I'm using, the lures, the gear and I'll be back at them. Okay, so I'm using two rods today. The first one over here is a bluebird from favorite and it's a 3 to 12 gram. I have it um, coupled with um, frames, Daiwa frames LT in 2000 and on that I have a four pound fluorocarbon. I'm using this setup for um, drop shotting whereas the other one is uh, my go-to setup for a uh, jigging. It's favorite again. This time we have an Impulse TZ here 
that's 0 0.6 to 7 gram with a Stradic 1000 reel and there is a braid of a 5 pound to a 6 pound fluorocarbon that's rods and reels covered and at the business end I usually have a Cheburashka rig tungsten Cheburashka rig they're far better than um, lead ones now far more expensive as well but I find them far better a they're smaller and b they're denser so the feedback is much better from them than you would get from a uh, lead ones and you can exchange the weights and um, the, the offset hooks are weedless so you will not be losing as much now these three lures are the three I would never go perch fishing without. We have a Lucky John Tioga, Crazy Fish Nimble and K-Tech Mini Madwag. You probably can tell my favorite color. <laughs> I wouldn't go fishing for perch without these three lures. They're absolute killers. And this has been doing wonders in a slightly larger version and white color when we were fishing for the big perch in Spain. Then I have my uh, box of ready-to-go lures, pre-rigged, ready to put on and keep going. And I have my bag with all the supplies. If that wasn't enough, I got a few more lures from Perch Professor. You can find them on Facebook if you're inter interested. So I got this um, crayfish leech and this uh, paddle tail. And as you could see from the morning's fishing, <laughs> This paddle tail is definitely going to my firm favorites right away. I didn't have enough time with the other two lures yet, but they look the business. Okay, that's the gear and lures covered. And now let's go and get this one. Yeah, 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 what's that? Oh, oh. this pike feels heavy. It feels, oh, it's probably Jack. Probably Jack. It really is heavy, but I didn't feel a take. It's working very slow. Oh, what is it? Must be a Jack. Not. No, no. No, it's not a jack! What the fish! <laughs> what an amazing, amazing fish! And my Irish PB, she's between 42 and 43 centimeters. An old warrior weighing 2 pounds, 5 ounces. An absolute brute of a perch on a ultra light, ultra light perch rod. I'm speechless. It's a miserable day and I've been grinding and grinding through a couple of different venues not to get a touch. And then all of a sudden this tank, tank of a perch comes along. I let her go now and uh, I'll keep casting. <laughs> Ah, an absolutely stunning perch. She's a, she's stunning perch, and she's kicking right away. I don't really want to let her go. <laughs> what an absolutely beautiful perch. It's a privilege to catch such an awesome fish. <laughs> I don't really want to let her go. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. Wow. Back to where she belongs. <laughs> <laughs> 